Hello. Hello. Hi, I'm Afik. I'm Suhaila. My name is Amanina. I am Adwin. In this video, we're going to talk about um, concordance. So keep on watching. So basically, what is corpus? Corpus can be defined as a collection of texts usually stored electronically, seen as representative of some subset of language and used for linguistic analysis. Okay, moving to corpus linguistic. Okay, according to McNary and Wilson 1996, describe corpus linguistic as the study of language based on example of real life language use Noting that it is a methodology rather than an aspect of language requiring explanation or description. Corpus linguists use computer software to examine frequencies and relationships between words in often large sets of authentic texts that have been electronically encoded. Now, what is concordance? Concordance is a list of unconnected lines of text called up by a concordance program with the search word at the center of each line. This list allows pattern of use to be seen and explored. Concordance program or software is widely used for text analysis. It enables its users to retrieve corpus from text for analysis more efficiently and alphabetically. Also, users are able to analyze sentence structure and it could list the corpus according to the frequency of usage. Moving to what corpus tools that we use, the instrument that would be used for the analysis is Corpus Concordance and Conk, which helps to calculate the frequency of words in description and also to measure the amount of words in each description. This is done in order to analyze the language features in tourism websites. But first, Let's get to work. <laughs> Why do we use NCONC? Using NCONC enables the researcher extracting the adjectives easier and determining the element of persuasion using adjectives. Also, it will determine the location where particular adjectives infrequently used, so examples and evidence could be provided at the end of the study. Now, what are the language features that we are going to analyze? For the research question, number one. What is the language style used in the description on tourism website? And number two, how does tourism website use adjective in the description of their website description? Spark and Irony have stated that language power could take different role in communication, which are as a peripheral cue, biasing influence as well as distracting influence. Persuasive communication strongly involves the power of language and how the language is manipulated and modified to serve that purpose. Studies have proven that adjectives play a prominent role in building language power and provide persuasion effect in text. Adjectives act as describing tool and it gives emotional effect. Descriptive writing could be further modified with the correct use of adjectives. Communication through text is virtual communication. It cannot be heard but it can't be it can be felt. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's continue with analyzing concordance. All right now. So, we are going to learn how to use NCONC. So basically, NCONC is a freeware corpus analysis toolkit for concordancing and text analysis. Firstly, you have to have the application. To have the application, you have to go to the website www.lawrenceanthony.net. Before you download, you have to identify the software of your computer. For mine, I download at Windows because as you can see mine is Windows. Okay, once you download it, you have an icon here. You click on the icon and run it to open it. When you have an icon open, click on File, Open File and choose a corpus. So basically, we have chosen a tourism corpus. After that, you key in the search term that you are looking for. For our research study, we are going to search for the word beautiful as an emotive language. The concordant hits 
349. So it means the word appear for 349 times. Okay, now we are going to look into the analysis of concordance on beautiful. Okay, in conjunction with the search term beautiful, function words such as preposition, adverb, article, determiner, verb, conjunction, pronouns are often found prior to it. Okay, and now we can see some few examples. For example, the line 134. Okay, for the function verb adverb phrase, we can see here the outstandingly beautiful emerald bay. The word outstandingly are the example of the function verb of adverb, which occurs before the word beautiful. Next, we will see line 145, where here it shows the verb. Offers occurs before beautiful. Moving to line 151. Yeah, here we can see the conjunction N that occurs before the word beautiful. Then moving to 152. Okay, and here we see the pronoun it's before the word beautiful and lastly we also found uh, article on line 153 the definite article for a that occurs before the word beautiful right uh, the preposition used before the search term is with beautiful patches line 154 Okay, the word with shows the preposition use. Okay. And then in this particular case, the search term beautiful positively connotes an eye-pleasing view to the seers. Hence, the attempts of using the search term beautiful in the corpus are aimed to attract tourists. Consequently, it elevates the degree of growth in tourism sector and at the same time it becomes a contributory factor to the increment of economic development right the search term beautiful it also often describes and modifies the noun within this context it gives an idea of the human animal place and others. The search term beautiful also acts as an adjective that embedded within the noun phrase. This is the noun phrase, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, after analyzing the concordance for the word beautiful, there is no any single metaphor and idiom discovered in the particular corpus. For the term beautiful, it is usually known as a praise to something or to someone. As here we can see examples mm, okay, to something. A beautiful nature park, moving our world's most beautiful wild animals. Okay, and then in a sense then, the search term beautiful is often related as a natural gift, like breathtaking, spectacular, stunning, which is a form of blessing to the eyes. Alright guys, so in the tourism corpus, imperative sentences are widely used. Imperative sentence uh, means it is a sentence that is in the form of command and not using pronouns such as you, he or she. For example, in the line um, uh, 152, go up, go up, go up, scroll up, you can see um, that uh, there's a line saying, It's beautiful stretch of white sandy beach set within coconut palm groves is much favoured by locals and foreigners alike for activities like swimming and picnicking. Another example would be 
this is a beautiful quiet and unspoiled island in the line 221 click on that and there it is it describes the pulau rusukan kecil all right so imperative sentence Imperative sentences help to intensify the statement made and at the same time make connection with the tourists to visit Malaysia. According to Kubikova in 2013, there are several pers persuasion techniques that were found in the analysis of advertisements. And one of the techniques is association. Associ association is where the seller associates the product with the buyer, which increased the need to buy this product. In this context, since we are using the tourism corpus, uh, this technique is applied to the tourism advertisement to grab our to grab the tourist attention towards visiting Malaysia. For an example, in the line two hundred and forty-two, okay, this island has a distinct advantage of having. Oh, the, oh sorry, that's not it. Can we go back to the concordance? And look for this island has a distinct. No, 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 no. Go back to the concordance. Um, okay, it's okay. Let's just go up. Um, slowly. <laughs> or maybe we can search. Uh, never mind. Okay, I'll just gonna um, t um say it out. So this island has a distinct advantage of having some of the nicest beaches with white sand, sparkling crystal clear water, and a coastline fringe with beautiful coral reefs. So this is um, an example of um, association technique. Um, this, the technique that Kubikova uh, has mentioned in 2013. Okay, in this corpus, it, uh, it, I'm sorry, this corpus contains emotion words that further capture, that further capture tourist attention. The usage of superlatives such as um, in the line 241, 241, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting my facts wrong. <laughs> never mind that. Okay, never mind. Okay, you can see um, the the adjective with um, mm. the word most uh, um, before it, like this one, in the word 230. Some of the, uh, can you, uh, okay, I'm going to click on that. Okay, so, um, some of the most beautiful bird in the world. Most is um, an example of superlative. Um, it is also one of the forms of emotion language. By using superlative adjectives, it helps to portray the intent, it helps to portray the intensify of an objective, thus bringing a strong emotion towards the tourists. Okay, so um, phrase like one of the most and word like with, uh, that used before the word beautiful like um, that's that's I see most okay like some of the some of Sarawak's most beautiful see most is used and with. It is used um repeatedly in the corpus before the word beautiful. Noun phrases with suggest a range of evaluative responses construct beautiful as aesthetic pleasure. For example, beautiful patches of coral, uh, popular for its beautiful sunsets, posting beautiful coastlines, and etc. I think that is all from us. Uh, I am Amanina. Your name is? <laughs> Suhaila. And my name is Adrin. As well as Afik. Mm -hmm. We would like to thank you for listening and watching the video. Goodbye. Bye. God bless all of us. Be, Be kind, kind to, to animals. animals. <laughs>